Hi everyone, Crispin here with MoCap Online. This is a short tutorial on looping our DazDog 8 animations with Animate. Uh, it's really simple, just a couple of easy tricks to know we'll be going over. The first animations released are some loops for the Base Dog and Great Dane, as they both have the same proportions, and all the other breeds and lots of other animations are being released as well. So keep an eye out for them. Uh, the bottom line when working in Animate, and especially looping, is your character should be at a scale of 100%. So let's get started and explain what that means in practice. Um, here we're looking at the base dog. Uh, I've loaded um, a trot and a block up and we're extending it out a few times so it, it loops. And uh, you can see that it, it loops fine, loops good. And uh, one of the reasons it loops well, it works correctly, is because it is set at a scale of 100%, and that's what Animate wants. Uh, however, different breeds are at different scales. For example, the French Bulldog is at a scale of 44%. And the Great Dane, which we'll be using first in this tutorial, it has a scale of 105% by default. So let's look at the Dane in Animate and how that 105% affects looping. So we'll go to, uh, we'll go and load up that trot again and uh, scale out, uh, stretch out a few times to loop. And we can see since it's only a 5% difference, it's a little subtle to see on the screen in motion, but if I scrub at the timeline at the loop points, you can see the feet sliding as the dog moves backwards. The animation is traveling 105%, but Animate is moving the Anablock only 100%, if that makes sense. It's Animate's designed to work at a scale of 100. The quick fix is to set the Great Dane at 100%, and now he loops correctly with no foot sliding after that. You can see that right there. The problem is, he's now smaller than he's supposed to be. So let's fix that. Uh, create a new null and let's go ahead and name that uh, null great name why not now we parent the great Dane to the new null and be sure to go back to frame zero and set the null to a scale of the original Great Dane scale of 105. Now the Dane is at its correct size, and Animate is also looping correctly with the Dane at a local scale of 100. Uh, let's repeat all that same process with the French Bulldog to show how it works with other breeds the same way. The French Bulldog is at a scale of 44%, so he jumps forward a lot at the loop points because of that small scale. Animate is looking for 100%, so we set the Bulldog, as before, to 100% scale. And now he loops properly. Let's see. There he goes, but of course he's giant. Uh, so he's a giant French Bulldog, so we will need to set him back to the correct scale. We create a new null. Uh, we'll name it Null French Bulldog. Then we parent the Bulldog to the new Null. Go to frame zero. And set the Null to the original Bulldog scale of 44%. And now he's a tiny French Bulldog again and looping properly. I hope that helps everybody better understand looping the mocap online Dazdog 8 animations. Animate, and thanks for watching.